what's happening. Let me explain to you some strange synchronicities that I've been uh, noticing uh past few days. Uh, I've been had to do some community service so I don't have to sit in jail uh, for these people called Land Bank. And basically they uh, maintenance uh, d uh, properties marked for demolition around the city. So I've been just rolling with these dudes and just getting a look at the city like a real deep close look to the to the streets man in a way and there's just a lot of properties man that are just they're dilapidated uh, if they're worse than dilapidated i mean it's crazy this is like listen you remember the old cowboy term of ghost town flint literally is turning into a ghost hood uh it's crazy look i was driving we were driving by this place by buick where old buick used to be and every house along this this open field where the where the uh factories used to be it looks like in uh like back in the when they was testing the bombs out in like area 51 and stuff and then they would have those those fake hoods that are all like it's a town with a bunch of mannequins in it and they would get blown up by the bomb basically and i was like dude it looks like this happened here uh so you in a way that's the effect of economic warfare and redevelopment is just as bad as a nuclear bomb. It just takes longer to burn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's quite it's quite insane. And what, what I was chilling with these dudes, man, and we were we were covering this whole supposedly coyotes were uh, getting into the. Uh, 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 they were getting into this this abandoned property. And, uh, I was, I, I, it reminded me, well, and then 10 deer ran by and a big bird flew down at the same time. I'm just telling you, there was a lot of animal signs since I've been rolling with these dudes. Uh, but when I seen these properties, man, there's two, uh, dilapidated house right next to each other marked for demolition. It's like, uh, I was thinking of this prophecy, and I think it's in Isaiah, and it said, And the owls shall dwell there, and the satyrs shall dance there, and the dragon shall dwell there. And I mean, there's another thing. The dragons, uh, I've seen these rare dragon salamander things. I've seen the bearded lizard. Uh, KJ did a reptilian video today. Uh, it's uh, the revelations, the dragon, the prophecy uh, of this uh, creature. Uh, then... We do have a transhumanistic, uh, and then uh, the, what card is it? There's actually Dinosaur Park is a card in the Illuminati card deck, and Godzilla, basically, Atomic Monster. So smash them two together as you can, and you can see the bigger reptilian effect, and how it has biblical application as well, because literally, Coyotes was living in this abandoned house. I mean, that is quite I Am Legend type, uh, or the, what was that, uh, the Book of Eli. I mean, there is parts of town that looks like the Book of Eli around here. Uh, it's quite crazy, man, the economic redevelopment. And uh, plus, you know, uh, the wild animals, man, are starting to reclaim the hood already, in a way. Because, listen, we were rolling by this house, and I had, it was just a foundation. A house burnt down, and there was a damn woodchuck. A big ass woodchuck or something standing there on the house or on the foundation that was and it's like look see that that whole house right there in the hood is that woodchuck's house basically which is it's like damn the animals are inheriting the hood uh i i seen some awesome birds man i seen the biggest storkiest looking thing out there in mundy township man it was quite a uh quite a sight to see so i been seeing a lot of bird activity uh, around. A lot of crows been out. A lot of just birds in general. But been seeing some big old birds, man, hanging out in the fields, which is kind of cool. I mean, I like like I like nature, you know, and I believe like you know the animals are in tune to the energies of the earth. So it's like in a way you can see how they're reacting to things and and get a an idea, a, a different perspective on what's going on. But yeah. For sure, with the, these 
it, it, it talks about in Isaiah, it talks about people traveling from field to field and then houses being just abandoned, uh, great uh, homesteads being abandoned. And, and you can see this here in a, a big time. Like when I was in Florida, this was six years ago. This dude that lived in a house, he said, every one of my neighbors around me all lost their house. He's I'm, I'm the only one left. So, I mean, that was down in Florida and Daytona. And it's a it's a form of wealth redistribution. It's when you crash the local economy, kick everyone out, they flee to different areas to make a way. And then they come back in, redevelop it, put in nicer, higher, uh, higher rates. But or they just get rid of it like Hunger Games. I mean, and that's another thing that was it reminded me of today was Orwell when he was talking about and there there was shabby worn down shacks and uh, had, uh worn down apartments and uh, this and that, man. Well, at least the dude that's how the dude sounds in the audiobook. He's got like a slightly English accent, but uh <laughs> uh it reminded me of 1984 as well. And, you know, and it's just when I be trying to test people to see where their awareness is at, man, it's way at the bottom of the one level, two level of the out of 10 scale. And it's weird how it's like, man, dude, what do you how do you guys not know about none of this stuff, man? And then, uh, I mean, just a, such a small fraction. And it's really the, you, you mentioned UFOs and people look at uh, at you like you worship aliens when it's like I didn't even mention aliens I said UFOs yeah you know and but they don't even realize there's a difference there so uh but the hour owl shall dwell there and then the satyrs shall dance there and the dragons the den of dragons will be uh dwelling there so we got Jurassic Park atomic monster they they say they're fitting a clone of T Rex I've been seeing this broadcasted a lot lately. And you got Revelations, the dragon. Uh, the beasts of the earth in the field will devour them. That's one of your Revelations, the red horse with the sword and the beasts of the field. And it talks about the beasts will be waiting, man, to devour people any way you go. You stay in the city, you'll get, get you'll get hit by this. If you go out in the field, you'll get hit by that. If you stick to the roads, you'll get this. Something else will get you. But uh, yeah, man, it definitely, man. The satyrs and the owls dwell in this city and dance here uh and the dragons as well uh look uh uh what was that other one and then here's another prophecy too it says the idols will fall down to the moles and the bats and we see all these uh all these uh sinkholes coming up right now and eventually they're going to start to swallow idols something really Id idolatrous and important is going to fall in a hole and, and we're going to see it everyone's going to see it and be like whoa that's it they're, the idols are down in the cracks of the rocks with the moles and the bats. I mean, that's more of this stuff, like of kind of like nature takes back over for a while uh, and reaps destruction and havoc on man uh, in a way. It's all part of prophecy as well. And, and, and you know, uh, it's like this. It, it'll, it, it'll punish those that are, are the guilty. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's such a... but. You know, no one's immune from this, the, the nature's snapback, man, when it uh, comes back on us, man. Uh, and uh, the more you, the more you F with it, the more with it Fs with your back. That's basically how, how the nature thing works. And, you know, you see that animals, look, we're stealing their houses. So guess what? Now they're taking the ones that we can't afford to live in back. It's crazy. Check game, man. It's deep in the game, late in the prophecy.